In a time of Me Too and a rising feminist movement, the word intersectionality has been thrown around more than once. With International Women's Day coming up, knowing the meaning of intersectional feminism is important. But what exactly is it, and why does it matter? The term was first coined in 1989 by academic Kimberly Crenshaw. To understand it, let's take a step back in time. The feminist movement emerged in reaction to the gender division in society, which functioned as a patriarchal hierarchy that saw women as lesser. Feminism aims to overcome this division and achieve equality between men and women. However, different cultural contexts, geographical locations and periods of time have meant that there have been multiple waves of feminism, some coexisting with others, some more distinct than others. To keep things simple, we'll talk about the three main waves and how intersectional feminism fits into them. The first wave of feminism wanted existing citizenship rights to extend to women and not just men. It gained traction through the suffragette movement and as feminism grew stronger in Western countries, women were gradually granted the right to vote. Second wave feminism aimed for new social rights specific to the female experience, such as equal pay, domestic violence and reproductive rights. A reaction to the mass consumerism and radicalism of the 1960s, it saw gender relations as both private and influenced by the state, therefore changing with society. However, with this new wave emerged the negative connotations of women, which still exist today. Third wave feminism is less clear-cut, but emerged in the 1980s to reject preconceived notions of gender, recognizing that women's identities are made up of different nationalities, religions, and sexualities. This is where intersectionality comes in, the understanding that these multiple identities and experiences, like being a person of colour, a woman or queer, can act as layers of discrimination experienced by an individual. Bell Hooks is one of the most well-known intersectional feminist academics. She says that not only do women of colour face social discrimination on the basis of sex and race, they're also fighting against the white feminist belief that women's experiences of oppression are universal. Hooks has also criticised the racial and sexual representation of women in popular culture, an increasingly topical issue with recent blockbusters Black Panther and Crazy Rich Asians. Intersectional feminism certainly aims to be a more inclusive iteration than its predecessors, with the start of a new wave of feminism based online and reaching all corners of the globe. Intersectionality doesn't look like it's going anywhere either.